What's up guys, my name is Jeremiah, owner of Bullfrog Fit and WMBF Pro Physique Competitor. Today I'm here with the Gorilla Bow. So before we go through the workouts today, I want to show you how to take the bands on and off. It's very simple. Before you do anything, all you got to do is grab the hold of one side of the band on the inside of the bow and pull up nice and gently so that it basically creates tension on the inside and relieves tension on the outside. You'll be able to easily take off the bands that way without hurting yourself. Do that on both sides. And you'll be able to set a resistance level on the band and on the bow that you can handle and that you'll be able to work with. All right guys, so we're gonna take you through a few upper body exercises and a few lower body exercises. That way you can maximize your time with the Gorilla Bow. So the first workout we're gonna go through today is a chest press. So before you get started, make sure that the bands are secure. Nothing's loose so it doesn't snap back when you're working out. Take a look, double check. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna place the bands right below your shoulder blades, like I said. All right, you're gonna stand shoulder width apart, a little bend in your knees. You're gonna press out from your chest, full extension with your arms, and you come back in. Don't come in too close, leave about a foot in between the bar in your chest so it continues to engage the resistance on the bands. Alright guys, so we're going to go for 15 to 20 reps here. You guys can either count the reps out, do 4 sets of 15 or 20 reps, or you can do 4 sets of 30 seconds. Alright guys, so the next workout we're going to go through is a bent over row. When you do bent over rows, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart, place them on the bands. It's really important here to make sure that the bands go right in between the middle of your feet and your arches. If you're pulling and the bands come up from underneath the balls of your feet and your toes, it's going to come up and smack you. It might not hit in the face, but it could hit your hands, so be careful. So, bands underneath the middle of your feet. First thing you want to do is you want to keep your chest up. Bend your knees, and you want to try to get this bar as close to your stomach as you can. Engage your core here, and breathe. Inhale down and exhale up. Next up is the bicep curl, guys. For those of you looking to get some toned arms, this is for you. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, just like the bent over rows, is we're gonna stand shoulder width apart. So from a standing position, make sure you keep your chest up, roll your shoulders back, keep your elbows back, and come up and curl. It's really important here that you keep your elbows back because when you keep your elbows forward, you can rest right here. So keep them back and keep those biceps engaged. Again, go for 15 to 20 reps, or you can work like a circuit workout and time it. Go 30 seconds, 60 seconds. For those of you guys in real good shape, try a minute and a half. Our next routine is the seated row. So a lot like the bent over row, we're gonna be working the back muscles here, all right? It's a little bit easier because you're not standing, you're not in a squat position, and you're not using your core as much, but you're still going to get a great back workout. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure the bands are in the middle of your feet, right around the arches, so it doesn't roll up and come back and hit you in the hands. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to lean back just a little bit, keep our chest popped up, and we're going to pull it right into our stomach. So our next routine is the one arm row. First thing you want to do is take a step on the band. All right, make sure the band is right between the middle of your feet. All right, take one foot, a little bit in the front leg, a little bit in the back leg. All right, you're gonna place your left hand on your thigh for support, keep your chest up. And you're just gonna pull your right arm up, elbow close to your body, and squeeze your shoulder blade into your spine. Alright, our next routine is the power clean. As you can see, I've started off shoulder width apart, with a band underneath my feet, and a very light band. Alright, if you want to go heavier, you can give it a try, but I recommend going a little bit lighter on this one. Start off like this, chest up, come down until you feel a little bit less resistance. You're going to come forward, bring it to your chest, squat, and press. Our next routine is the squat. With the squat, 
again, just like the clean and press or the squat and press, make sure that you guys have the band right in between your feet. You're going to stand shoulder width apart. You can do front squats by keeping the band right at your chest, coming down and up, hips forward, squeeze your glutes at the top. Or you can do a back squat, chest up, head raised, come down, push off your heels. Again, hips forward at the top, squeezing your glutes. And we're going to go for 15 to 20 reps here. The squat is going to give you a lot of resistance. Upright row is an excellent exercise for your traps and your shoulder muscles. So just like the squat, make sure you stand on the band shoulder width apart. All right, your hands are going to be about shoulder width apart as well. When you come up, bring the bar right up to your chin and your elbows a little bit higher than your hands. You want to squeeze right behind your neck here. The next move is the shoulder shrug. Make sure you get as many heavy bands as possible because you're going to want a lot of resistance on this move. Lift both shoulders straight up and straight down. All right, our next move is the shoulder press. Start with a light band for light resistance. If you want more of a challenge, add another band for more resistance. Drop to your knees. Place the band between your knees and your feet. Come straight up. All right, guys, the next move is the lunge. When we lunge, we're going to lunge in place. Put the bands right underneath one foot, one foot in front, one foot in back. You're going to have about two and a half feet in between your feet. You're going to grab the bar, your hands, bring it to your chest, keep your chest up, and you're going to come straight down, bend both knees, and straight up. This is going to give you some resistance on the way up and on the way down. All right, guys, we have band flies next. There's two ways to do band flies. You can do band flies with the band on the bar, or you can do it with it off the bar. I recommend doing it off the bar. If you'd like to do it without the bar, which is what we recommend, take the bands, overlap it once on each side, hold it straight out, and extend it out. All right guys, our next move is the tricep extension. We're gonna do this by kneeling down, all right? So let's get the band right between your knee and your feet on both sides. Grab the bar, shoulder width apart. We're gonna press overhead and behind. Keep your elbows as close as you can together. All right, we have Robin Hoods. Robin Hoods are an excellent exercise for that rare delt activation. You want to have nice round shoulders and you want to have strong rear delts, traps, and rear back muscles. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to extend one arm out about eye level, okay? Hold it right in the middle of the bar. We're going to pull the band out, keeping our elbows high, nice and level to the ground, and then back in. A great exercise here is to go for 10 reps. Always keep resistance on the band and then do 10 half reps. So you're getting a nice little muscular endurance exercise here in the end. All right guys, another great back exercise. You're gonna work the lats here. So this is a, a lat pull down and you can do this pretty much anywhere. Anywhere you can kind of hang your bands from. So make sure you loop your band right around a tree, a pole, um, a shelf, something sturdy so it's not gonna fall when you pull it. All right, hook it up. You want to have wherever you're hanging it from be about three to four feet from the top of your head. All right, so that's the first step. The next step here is to go down to your knees for this exercise. You also want to be on a bit of an angle here. You don't want to be directly below where you hang it from. On lat pull downs, you're definitely going to need a heavier resistance or you're not going to get the most out of the exercise. Start with a medium band, like a red band or a blue band, and try to work up to a black band. All right, our last lower body exercise is the good mornings. Okay, so you guys have seen what I've done here. I've stepped on the band about shoulder width apart. All right, I've gotten it right behind my back. I have a pretty medium level resistance band here. This is actually a pretty good challenge for me. If you'd like to, you can add a lighter resistance. All you're gonna do is stick your butt way out. You 
gonna come down so you feel a little bit less resistance. Squeeze your glutes on the way up, pop your hips forward, and then go right back into it. You don't wanna go too much lower than 90 degrees here or you can hurt your lower back. <laughs> 